Hello everybody, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V, the Earth 2014 mod as Canada. Yes, welcome back. So, first and foremost, I just want to say I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, and, or whatever holiday you celebrated over the past week, or the past weeks. Uh, so that was the reason why there wasn't any content last week. I, I generally don't like to put content out near Christmas, because I don't want you guys watching my videos. I want you to spend, you know, spend that time with your, your family and friends. Uh, I, I know I did. I take, uh, I take Christmas a little bit seriously in terms of family. I love spending time with family, and I get to see most of my family this time of year anyway, so... Generally speaking, I don't want you guys to watch my videos, because I'm very unimportant. My videos will be here for a long time, but family might not. So, I generally just want you guys to spend time with family during the holidays, and not watch my videos, so... That was, that was the reason for that, but we're back, and uh, just in time for New Year's. Today is New Year's Eve, and tomorrow is the first day of 2016. I'm excited. A new year means hopefully a lot of a lot of good fortune, um, lots of uh, lots of awesome things. Hopefully with this channel, uh, you know, because like I said, I, I'm not I'm not jumping off again. So you don't have to worry about that. I don't know if you guys have seen the channel update that I posted two weeks ago, but yeah, after that, that you know, I'm I'm head on into this. You know, I, I don't want to disappoint. So without further ado, let's jump right back in to our well our, our world here. Last episode, we took out Bellum and Manaus. Oh, actually, Bellum, Manaus, and Salta. And we ended our wars with, uh, basically South America. But we will be in the future again. Like I said, I want to fortify Manaus, Bellum, and Salta. And then go in again on South America. When I'm ready. You know, because I wasn't necessarily ready for this. I didn't have any tanks. I didn't have any rocket artillery. I didn't have aircraft down here. I didn't have a strong navy. We couldn't really do much. I'm surprised we took Manaus and Bellum. Bellum was kind of iffy. I didn't think I was going to get that, but I'm really happy. Really, really happy. And Argentina, that, that was a great surprise, because I wasn't even going to focus on them. So, yeah, we're going to strengthen these areas, build them up to be, forti you know, heavy fortifications with forces lining the borders, and then we're going to go in again on these nations. Uh, as for South America, no, sorry, South Africa, I am planning on taking them out, but I think we should wait until after Brazil. Like I said, I don't know how much time I have, so I don't know if I should be rushing to conquest or what. I mean, it was kind of nice that within turn 28, I've taken three cities so far. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, but everybody's starting to get nukes. Everybody's starting to build uh, spaceship stuff, maybe. I don't know. Uh, everybody basically has the Apollo program, except for me. So, yeah, we're building that. We'll see what happens. You know, like I said, I don't know how long this series is going to be. But I'm going to have fun while I do it. Because being Canada is amazing. And taking over the world is especially amazing. Because it's not something Canada would do. You know? So, anyway, without further ado, let's get right back into this. So, I want to make a military, or rather, a naval base in one of my cities. That's the one thing that I actually neglected to do. And I think what I'm going to do is go to Vancouver. See, that's the problem. I need, uh, Panama. The best way to do this is to ally with Panama. They're only 87, and we have a shite load of money. And then we could use their, uh, their passageway to get from the Atlantic, or sorry, the Pacific to the Atlantic, and vice versa. We're going to need it. To be honest, now that we have, you know, holdings down here. So we can either ally them or take them. If we take them, we're going to have to fight America. Or at least get on America's bad side. If we take a look here. under Oh, wow. Under protection of America, Mexico, and South Africa. Yay. Yeah. Let's just pledge to protect and then gift them a crap load of money. In fact, watch this. Ready? Boom. Allies. The only thing we have to watch out for is if Panama grabs a lot of forces, which they don't have right now, uh, they might clog this area and we won't be able to get through. So we have to watch that, but uh, hopefully this is fine. So, uh, yeah, that's all said and done. Now that we're out of war, things should kind of speed up a little bit. We'll just kind of hold off in the ocean out here. Don't want you to be seen. That would be a mistake. Yeah, so hopefully, like I said, turns will go by much faster because we are not... Hello, come on. We're not at war anymore, so uh, I could just speed through these. Okay, wow, China declared war on India. Really? Yeah, I don't care, Russia. It's fine. We're gonna see a, a, a nuke dropped. I, I swear we're gonna see a nuke drop this turn. Right? I mean, these, these two countries both have nuclear weapons. Nuclear capabilities. You know, it's... Not to mention, this would be the hardest war to fight. Just because the mountains here. It would be so hard to take these cities, and yet they're going for it. What is this? Yeah, there's a nuclear missile up in... Ah, you're, you'll pay for that in time. Up in Urmquai. 
Urmchi? Urmchi. I, I don't, I don't know. I think QI is Chi. Although, don't, don't quote me on that. I'm, not, I'm really not sure. Yes, yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, we're sorry. Hmm. It's still mine, though. I'm gonna keep it. Did this change the, uh, the... Get over it! The icon for China? Because I could have swore that was the actual Chinese flag here. I think it might have changed back to Civ 5. Which is interesting. I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, jeez. What the hell happened up here? Hang on. Uh, Great Engineer was born. Perfect. But everybody declared war on Sri Lanka. Ally with France. Okay, so France is at war against... Yeah, okay, so France is at war against Brazil, of course, Argentina, and South Africa. Why is that? Did I miss that? I probably didn't, but... Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Right. Uh, France at war with Brazil, Argentina, and South Africa. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? Whatever works. We had the United Nations in four turns. I could rename that, but I'm not going to. Uh, World Ideology Freedom and the World's Fair. We'll see what happens. I mean, we have a crap load of delegates now. A crap load. I didn't look at this until now, but we have a literal crap load of delegates. Almost more than Russia. In fact, if I go ahead... Let's look for a couple more, because we have a lot of money. Alright, so that's fine. Well, probably not, because we want to maintain these relationships. Let's see, panel... I wish it showed us the, uh... How much in here, so we don't have to click. 104. Chile. 104. Really? Iceland. 120, okay, that's shaking it up a little bit. And the Congo, 104. Right, so we can have... So, doing it this way, right, we can probably pay 500 each for the ones that aren't allied. So, like, Mozambique and Singapore. Because, let's see... Singapore, 550... No, it wouldn't. Would it? No, because 60 is needed to be allies. Crap. Okay. Mozambique. Yeah, same thing. One thing I've noticed is that in the Earth 2014 mod, they don't actually give out missions, these city-states. So it's kind of hard to actually maintain relations with them. Which is really frustrating, but, uh... Yeah. I could spend another thousand... I do want to buy a courthouse, but they're, they're pretty cheap, I believe. Ah, crap. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I, I can't check unless... Actually, I can. A hundred production! Really? That's it? Yeah, this is... This, wow. That's going to be really cheap. If... Okay, the military academy is 300 production, and how much is that going to cost? 920. So... Oh, wow. That's not really that uh, cheap, now that I think about it, because the walls are... 75 production, and it's 400 ducats, or golds, whatever. So yeah, about 500 golds for the courthouse, I'd give or take. Hmm. I don't like that. Uh, Angela Merkel completed the Manhattan Project. All right, Germany. Shinzo Abe is building up an army to sneak attack somebody. Interesting. Who are you going to attack over here? Really? There's nobody you could attack. <laughs> okay, buddy, you, you keep thinking that. Right, we have uh, Alexander Gustav Eiffel. Great. Okay, well, we don't really have any wonders to build, but we can go ahead and do this, right? So we're going to put uh, the Manhattan Project. Actually, no, what am I doing? I can just put the Manhattan Project anywhere, right? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So do this. And then... Oh, no. I can't. Right, so what we're going to do then is use you for your manufacturing. We're going to use you, buddy. Go up to the tundra. Uh, yeah, Quebec can have it. Right, this is Quebec? It will be. Yeah. Halifax can have it too, but I, I want to give it to Quebec. Okay, you guys are going to just sit on the border of Brazil. Okay, perfect. Halifax, we're going to build the... Well, ugh. I don't know, that's so much to build. Okay, you know what? You're gonna grab a hospital, just so you kind of grow in size. We want to really just get these guys producing 
a crap load of things, like production, food, just so they can grow to be great cities so that we can actually use them. Uh, because right now we really can't. It really sucks. Okay. Uh, like I said here, we're going to put a barracks, a seaport. We already have a seaport. Yes, we do. Okay, so uh, a barracks, an armory. We'll go up the line. It will make this a nice little uh, naval port. So that we can start building ships, you know, cruisers, uh, battleships, carriers, even. Yeah, we want to get an air force as well, so we'll work on it. Actually, one thing I want to put here as well is a bomb shelter, because I've been informed that nuclear weapons in this game can launch up to 40 tiles. 40 tiles. I'm not sure if we can reach China with 40 tiles. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to count. <laughs> I'm very lazy. 25, 26, 27. So from Tokyo to Los Angeles is only 27 tiles. So, yeah, you, you could reach China from uh, Los Angeles, which means that you could reach Russia from Vancouver or Anchorage to... Yeah, so there's uh, a lot of possibilities for being nuked in Vancouver. Not so much Calgary and Winnipeg, but definitely Vancouver. So what we're going to go ahead and do is build that bomb shelter because that reduces nuclear attacks by 75%. This is the best damn building to counteract a nuclear weapon. It really is. So we're going to build that before the barracks just because I'm worried about Russia. So there we go. Uh, oh, okay. Turkey declared. Oh, no. Sorry. India declared war on Turkey. Really? Interesting. Uh, Lhasa is being attacked. Lhasa has two nuclear missiles. Three jet fighters. Of course, Urumqi has two jet fighters. But yeah, they actually successfully attacked... Y yes Maybe, yeah. I guess so. I mean, he's gonna vote yes for this, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Research agreement, that's fine. I mean, we don't really need it. I don't know how much technology really matters. I mean, this is gonna be good. The, power the fusion plant. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know how Lhasa was attacked. Maybe it would probably is an air force, right? I don't see an air force in India, but that doesn't mean anything because apparently just seeing this is, is weird, you know? Because, yeah, I don't know why you could see some cities that have aircraft and others you can't. Because I know India has nuclear missiles. They start off with the Manhattan Project, and I think they start off with... Yeah, because see, Pakistan just had three things right here in Islamabad, and now they're gone. I don't understand how this whole work. Why can we see things, but we can't see other things? We need to really improve our, uh, our <laughs> surveillance over there, I guess. Vietnam and Australia now allies. Sudan has a new ally of Saudi Arabia. They also request units. Well, Sudan was the only African country that hated me. So, no. Uh, no, thank you. I'm good. Of course, we have the Congo, which is allied with us right now, which is kind of perfect. Nice little ally against South Africa, if that does happen, which it will. Okay, uh, move you guys down to Bellum. So, uh, let's take a look over here. So, yeah, I guess the only damage was Lhasa. So, okay, well, whatever. Not my war, but I'm interested to see if those nukes get launched. I mean, they did move them down to uh, Lhasa, which was interesting. So, I don't know where you're going anymore. Just sit in Bellum. Okay, so you're fine now. We can go ahead and annex the city. And instantly work on a 13 turns for a courthouse. Yeah, we're going to have to purchase that. Purchase the courthouse. 600. Oh, my gosh. It's only 100 production, though. You can't work. You have 7 production. Oh, the only thing that sucks about a city out in the middle of the jungle is the production. We have to work on everything. Water mill, workshop, factory, I bet. We can't. We, well, we have to, because the workshop's not even built yet, but that doesn't mean anything, because if you take a city... Actually, yeah, it has a factory. Yeah, if you take a city, it might reduce some of the buildings from earlier on, but you might keep some of the advanced buildings, like the university, the factory, uh, stuff like that, so... It's very random. I don't like it exactly, but whatever. In fact, I think, as you go along through the ages, you shouldn't have to rebuild old things. If they're gone, I mean, it, it's just weird, you know? Building a coliseum in the year... 2000. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense, but what are you going to do? All right, go there. All these guys are finishing healing. 
Okay, yeah, you could build the library, I suppose. I mean, you already have the university, which is perfect for us here, but... Oh, you know what I want to do? Purchase yourself a worker. Absolutely, and build yourself... But you don't need to build a monument, really. You need a watermill and a workshop. Push that down. Okay. Your little friend Vietnam is so easy to push around. Oh, you'll pay for that in time, buddy. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lose 20 relations with Vietnam. Even though... Do I have any? I have five. I have five with a lot of people around here. I don't know why. Oh, am I protecting these guys? I don't know. But they like me. That's something. Alright, they're going to work on the radiation up here in uh, Sapporo. Angela Merkel declared war on Turkey. Nice. There's some uh, European fights going on here. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting, to say the least. Because you have, uh, well, you have the ability to build nukes now. You don't act, oh, you do have uranium. Okay. Well, that's scary. Huh. Uh, Enrique, what? What was that noise? That was weird. Right. Enrique, uh, hut, names, Spanish names, uh, Argentina and Mexico are now at war. Okay. It's very weird. Weird stuff going on here. Weird, weird stuff. Yeah, so, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of work to be done in this area over here. Oh, we have an antiquity site. Well... I'll have one of these guys build a... Uh, we don't really need to, do we? It's actually worth more to us to leave this here. The only issue is that if somebody else, like America, decides, Oh, hey, I can go in through your land now and take that. They're going to ruin the jungle. So I, I like to keep a unit on it at all times, and that's not worth it. So I'll just build a freaking... Uh, what are these guys called? They're called something. Archaeologists. That's right. Okie dokie. Wow, what the hell happened here? Ottawa is now Protestant. And Ottawa is now Protestant. Again. Okay. Yeah, are you... Are there any holy... There's no holy cities in the Americas, obviously. But it looks like Christianity has the majority. Well, no, not necessarily, because America is Protestant. I don't think we should care about religion. I mean, does it give us anything? Can we purchase with faith? Only a missionary. Oh, we can build cathedrals. Okay, and that's in the Christian cities and the Protestant cities have nothing. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll do this. Automatic faith purchases of cathedrals in all the cities that you can, which is Quebec, Toronto, and that's it so far. Actually, these guys are down here too, eventually. Okay, anyway. Uh, Olivia in Moscow uncovered that Vladimir is plotting against Hassan Rouhani, which is... Uh, Iran. I don't care. Okay, and they're attacking them, I think. And we built the Apollo program! Finally! We're finally caught up! <laughs> Israel and Argentina are at war as well. I don't know why South America is just a big, gigantic target, but... Hey, it worked for us, so... And it looks like uh, Iran built the Apollo program as well. Okay. So I think everybody in the world is pretty much caught up with that. So we should have no problems racing for uh, space, essentially. Ugh. Alright, I need you guys to get over here. I don't know where people are going anymore. What the hell are you... Don't move. Just stop moving. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, build that. You guys can come down here. Just wait. Just wait. You guys are going to be placed down eventually, and we'll see what's going on. I don't know where you guys are going anymore. Uh, I'm confused. So, just wait and wait. In the meantime, we can go ahead and check out India, which looks to be unscathed. Lhasa has come up a little bit, obviously, as the end of the turn goes. But there's two nuclear missiles here, and, uh, well, China's going to go soon. What is this? Angela declared war on Argentina. Great. Okay. Like I said, I don't know what the interest is in South America, but I don't care because it worked for us. Yeah, we might as well. You don't have anything to sell us, so... Okay. I do see the UK's and France's interest in South America because they have, of course, the islands down here, the Falklands, and the uh, French Guiana. So, 
I see their interests, but I don't see anybody else's. Barack Obama declared war on Argentina again. What the hell? I, I don't get it. I guess they saw that when I took cities, they have to have a piece of it. <laughs> I really don't know. No clue. Oh, what? American suborbital jump squads. R or XCOM squads, if you want to call them that. That's interesting. Huh. So they changed the name, which would make sense because there is no XCOM in real life, but... Uh, Alright. Suborbital... Do I, can I build those? What is that? I don't think I can. That would be... Oh, but I can! Suborbital jump squads. Good luck, Commander. Alright, well... Cool! You can build them. Although I'm not going to be able to because I'd have to grab all of these, right? Yeah, that's... Ugh, that's not going to work. Not unless I start spying on America. And I don't even know if I'll have the ability to take a tech... Or steal a tech, rather, in time. So, it's not going to work for us. But, I don't know. We'll see. You go there. You go there. Why can't you go... Oh, we pillaged the road. That's right. Okay, now I'm getting it. Move up one, please and thank you. And you are going to go right here. Lots of things with city-states. Uh, oh, there we go. They're doing missions. Finally. Finally. It, was, it only took them 32 turns. But then again, actually, that's kind of accurate. Because if you start a game and you meet city-states, they won't give you a mission until around 30 turns after. So that actually makes sense. Okay. Just because they're established doesn't mean anything, apparently. Still takes the full, you know, the full 30 turns to do whatever. Vladimir Putin is attacking uh, Turkey. All right. Interesting. Okay. Russian missile crews are just roaming around here with two nuclear missiles on board. You know what? I'm going to make it my priority to build bomb shelters in every single city. I mean, I know they won't attack me right now. Because I have America by my side, but at the same time, I don't trust anything. I need to build nuclear missiles, or nuclear, what was it called? Bomb shelters in every one of my cities. Because I, like I said, I just, ugh, I don't trust it. Not at all. And I don't want to lose all of the work that I've already put towards these cities. Uh, yeah, bomb shelter first. You're, you need to be protected, Toronto. You really do. Whoa, not recycling center. Everybody's building a bomb shelter. All right, yeah, build that. Thank you very much. Just sit there. Just, okay. Trade route overview. Vancouver to Jakarta. Really? Oh, okay. Sure, we'll do that. That would be in Indonesia. Okay, well, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, what happened to India? Whoops. Uh, nothing. Nothing happens. They have two nuclear missiles and they're not going to use it. Huh. I guess we'll find out next time. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and definitely stay tuned for more.